Good afternoon. Uh, I'm in uh, the Derry Bay Mountains in Donegal today, and that's Glen Bay National Park just behind me. And the really, really cool walk down along the valley um, past the lock to Glen Bay Castle. Uh, so I'm going to follow the trail a wee bit. Uh, then I'm going to branch off and I'm going to climb up uh, alongside the Alloan Burn, Alloan River. Uh, I've never done that before, so uh, hopefully that'll be, I'll have a wee bit of excitement to it. Um, I've parked just at the head of uh, Glen Vey Glen. Uh, now there's usually a space for a couple of cars to park there. But there's uh, just down the road about maybe four or five minutes walk, there's a new car park, which is room for about eight or ten cars. So I've actually parked there, which is really cool. Uh, I had originally intended to go drive all the way down to Loch Barra and walk up, which was probably about three kilometres. So that certainly, certainly saved me some walking at the start here. So um, I'm looking forward to this. The weather is absolutely beautiful. Uh, maybe too hot, though there is uh, a lovely cooling breeze. Um, uh, and I've got plenty of sun cream on, so hopefully that'll, that'll all be okay. Before I get to the burn uh, and the waterfalls of this river to cross, uh, really, really easy today. Um, there's barely uh, a flow in it. Uh, though, again, if, if it had been a lot wetter, this may be a wee bit more challenging uh, to cross over. So that's just something, I suppose, for me to, to bear in mind. Because there's so little water, I'm having the absolute thrill and luxury of uh, scrambling up uh, at, along the, the riverbed and the rocks here uh, of, of the burn. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> uh, and it's actually yeah, sort of a wee bit of shade as well in here. Uh, and there's, uh, there's willow, there's... Um, Mountain ash, there's uh, mountain oak uh, and holly uh, trees growing in here uh, and it's just absolutely beautiful uh, to be scrambling up here, absolutely fantastic and I, I don't know what's to come uh, so <laughs> I'm heading up there, uh, I'm not sure what, what way it goes after that but I'll, I'll, I'll climb up and see. Just absolutely superb scrambling um, up along the bare rock of, of this uh, river. Uh, lovely in here as well because you've got shade because you're sort of in a bit of a, a ravine and you've got the trees as well. Uh, now definitely not something that I would attempt in wetter weather. Uh, just wouldn't be safe at all. Uh, and, and any wet rock that there is at the minute is just like absolute ice. So. I've reached the, the, 
I think about as far as I can go. Um, it really narrows in and we've got this um, sort of waterfall here. I have given it a go but uh, it's even there that it's too wet and slippy and I'd just be worried about, about maybe slipping and falling. Um, and I think you could probably lie in here forever and, and nobody would ever uh, come up this way or see you. So I, I, I think I've got my money's worth out of, of scrambling up here so I'll go back down a wee bit uh, and just go up the, the, the side of the gorge here to get me up uh, further on the hill. That's me up and above after my wee detour. Uh, <laughs> uh, just uh, uh, have a wee bit less risk. Uh, and you can see it starts to open out now. Uh, I suppose just uh, a, a bit of a credit that I actually spied the walk up alongside uh, this river and the waterfalls in Adrian Hendroff's book. Um, I think it's Donegal, Sligo and Leitrim, uh, a walk guide, because uh, I had sort of been pouring over a few different guidebooks, just give me a wee bit of inspiration, and you know what, this has really, really paid off, so far, so far. Uh, <laughs> um, now his walk went to the summit of Dewish, uh, and that's certainly my plan, uh, I, I wild camped on Dewish uh, a long, long time ago. Uh, and the plan is to wild camp up in the summit again uh, this evening. So hopefully that'll uh, all pan out for me. I'm uh, going to follow the river for a bit further. Uh, I'm actually needing to go up there. So that's Staghill Mountain, uh, 486 metres. So there's a gentler gradient sort of going up that way, but I just think it'll be cool to follow the river. Uh, <laughs> and then there's a wee bit of a, a, a maybe steeper um, climb just from the call up there. And in the distance, uh, I can see Errigal. So it's just uh, iconic in terms of its shape and presence uh, and that'll become even more apparent I think once we get a bit higher up but um, it is boiling warm, it is really really warm, the ground is super super dry um, so you think there would be like a you know a, a high fire risk potentially, um, a, a wee bit of a breeze just cooling things, uh, I, I've seen some damselflies sort of darting uh, along the river here, so that, that probably made my mind up that I'm going to continue along the river for a bit.
I've been up to the top of Stagall Mountain and I've dropped down to uh, my source of water for this trip. Um, so this is Loch uh, Nawilog and uh, it's quite a size. It's actually quite tropical looking here with this heat today. Uh, there's a wee island out in the middle and I think that would be super cool to camp on. Um, it's actually a wee beach here. You can see, and I, I like my wee beaches at locks. And I think there's been deer knocking about as well. So I obviously uh, need a wee bit of water too, but uh, a lovely, lovely spot. Uh, I'm gonna chill out here for a bit, um, drink the last of my water before filling up uh, my two one litre bottles to take up to the top of Dewish. Um, really part of me wants to stay here <laughs> um, but I've, I've maybe another three hours of daylight or more left so uh, I'm not sure how productive that would be but uh, it's all about being productive I don't know <laughs> It's um, nearly half seven, still absolutely glorious uh, views down there to Errigal. Uh, so I'm sort of going the opposite direction. I'm going to climb up there and that is up to the top of Dewish. Um, hopefully maybe an hour, an hour and a half will have me up there, so about nine o'clock, which will leave me plenty of time to get sorted. Uh, and, and chill out before it gets dark. It is just stunning. <laughs> oh man, uh, even though it's late in the evening, there's still loads of heat. Um, that breeze is just keeping midges and everything away. Um, I haven't met a single person uh, on my trip so far. Part of me's thinking when I go up the top of Dewey, there'll be somebody camped here. <laughs> fear, fear, fear. Um, that's, that's not reality, it's irrational. Um, I'll be up there by myself, I know that. Um, but yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful. Nearly there, uh, at the top of Dewish. Uh, I won't fall off that nine o'clock um, prediction. Uh, but just look at the light shining down there in Loch Altan. Yeah, absolutely beautiful.
is the summit of Duish Mountain uh, where I, I uh, was aiming for and have planned to camp. Now the last time I was here I bivied just actually at this exact spot so uh, I had to bivy on this uh, fairly level slab of rock but um, there's a keen wee uh, sort of northerly or northeasterly breeze coming here uh, so I don't fancy that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to maybe down over here which is just in the lee and the shelter of the cairn um, and there's a nice wee bit of flat ground there so um, I think I'll be happy enough with that and again it's just an absolutely fantastic stunning evening uh, and there's only me and a few sheep about <laughs> um, which doesn't really surprise me um, it is a Sunday uh, and I, I haven't seen a person up here uh, but that's that's the side of the dairy vase for you um, so it's after nine I'm fairly hungry uh, the jacket's on, uh, so even though the sun's still there, there's absolutely no heat left in it. Um, it's it's done for today, um, and I can feel it cooling down, so uh, time to get sorted. That's my very sophisticated um, camp all set up, uh, <laughs> uh, but I've just been mesmerised uh, by the state of the sun dipping down uh, out, out to the west, uh, over the Aglas and over Altan Loch, absolutely beautiful. It's pretty much 11 o'clock, um, it's still light, uh, <laughs> no need for a head torch, oh man, um, absolutely fantastic evening um, up here on the on the top of Duish, just loads and loads of chilling, taking my time, getting set up, getting something to eat, uh, and all the while just those stunning views uh, out, out to the west, out to the Atlantic, uh, with with the sun setting. Uh, it is getting chilly, uh, <laughs> as you might expect, with a clear sky and uh, a sort of northerly breeze. Um, so I am going to get down in and get uh, tucked into the bivvy.
So I've got my views down over the lock and they're pretty spectacular uh, and I'm even thinking there's a way down uh, here and I really fancy uh, dropping down and walking along the sandy shore uh, and that would cut out maybe maybe seven, eight kilometres of walking. Uh, I'm just thinking about it at the moment. Uh, I may not do it, um, but it's certainly an option. You know what, I think I'm happy enough with getting that view and I'll probably drop down uh, just straight off the hill here the way I, I thought. Um, I've, I'm thinking of some more tea uh, just down on the sandy shores there. Uh, I've been up and about now for what, maybe three and a half plus hours, so uh, I think it's about time. This is not easy going at all. Um, really rough ground, long tussocky grass, very easy to lose footing. Um, the only saving grace so far, I, I found like a, a deer trail, which is just about visible, and uh, I'm following that down. So, <laughs> I'm nearly down. Um, I'm in the shelter of this bit of old oak forest here. So the temperature has just dropped way, way down uh, with the shelter of the sun. So uh, that, that was tough coming down there. Uh, lots of care, care required. And if I hadn't have found that uh, sheep trail, uh, it would have took me even longer uh, and even more care. Uh, so looking forward to this cup of tea at the bottom. I've made it to the beach, uh, the only thing missing is ice cream man uh, and my only regret of dropping down uh, and not uh, going and following the track up through the valley was that I could have got maybe something to eat or a nice lolly or an ice cream at the castle um, but I'll get it somewhere else on the way home.
um, I've parked. Um, oh. <laughs>